So in this video, we will be looking at how we can calculate the pH of a weak acid. We will still use the negative log of the hydronium concentration, but in this situation, our hydronium concentration isn't going to be the same as the concentration of our acid because we have weak acids and they occur in equilibrium, so we don't have a full production of H3O ions. What we can do then is write out the reaction for the equilibrium process and then write out an equilibrium constant expression. Remember, liquids are left out of this expression, so we're going to leave water out of it. Let's try a practice example. Calculate the pH of a 0.200 molar solution of HNO2. So we have this, this acid, this weak acid. Now one thing we're going to need is we're going to need our chart or table of Ka values for different acids because different acids are going to have different levels of strength and that chart will tell us um, how strong or how weak our acid is. The first thing I'm going to do is write out the equilibrium reaction and this will help me with my equilibrium constant expression. So we have HNO2 in aqueous solution with water as a liquid in equilibrium with those hydronium ions and that NO2 minus ion. Both of those products are in aqueous solution. So if we were to write out that equilibrium constant expression, we would include all of the aqueous substances but leave out that liquid water. Now according to my value, my Ka table, the Ka of this HNO2 is 4.6 times 10 to the negative 4. And just keep in mind that every table is just a little different as far as significant digits are concerned and rounding. And um, even some of the values might you might find as being different because they may be taken at different temperatures or um, maybe in a different environment. So don't think that just because you have a slightly different value of K, uh, for your Ka on your table means that it's wrong. So this is our equilibrium constant expression. And then I'm going to include um, all of those um, necessary ingredients in my ice table. So I have the HNO2 in equilibrium with the H3O plus and the NO2 minus. Now my initial concentration of my HNO2 is 0.2. My initial concentration of my hydronium is about zero. Keep in mind that in pure water we still have a little bit of hydronium, but for the most part it's zero. It's so low that we don't have to worry about it. And I'm going to put my change um, in there for each. I'm going to minus X for my reactants and plus X for my products. Also keep in mind the stoichiometry is very important in this change row here, the coefficients of the balanced equation. And then my equilibrium um, uh, concentrations I will put at the bottom. So 0 0.200 minus X and then XX for um, the concentrations of the products. Then I'm going to write my equilibrium constant expression, including these variables and my Ka from the table of Ka values. Uh, one thing we can do in this problem is we can assume that because our Ka is very, very small, it's 4.6 times 10 to the negative fourth, which is a very small Ka value, um, that this acid won't be dissociating very much. So if we're going to subtract how much it dissociates, it's, we're subtracting such a small amount from 0 0.2, which is a significant number. Um, we can just leave that X value off of there, and it's not going to affect our results enough to, um, to even be within the level of significant digits. So I can leave that out because that value is so small. So I'm going to set this up again, except I'm going to leave that X value out. And then I'll take 4.6 times 10 to the negative fourth. And I'm just going to cross multiply here. Multiply that by 0.2. And I get 9.2 times 10 to the negative fifth. So my x squared is equal to 9.2 times 10 to the negative fifth. Now to solve for x, I would need to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 9.2 times 10 to the negative fifth is 9.59 times 10 to the negative third. That's what my x is equal to. Now keep in mind, um, my x is equal to 9.59 times 10 to the negative third, but it doesn't mean that the concentrations are equal to that. So if I want to go in and find one of the concentrations, I would have to substitute that value into my table. Well, it just so happens that the hydronium concentration is this value. So the hydronium concentration is 9.59 times 10 to the negative third, and, um, and that's in moles per liter. 
And this is the value that I use to calculate my pH. I'm not really interested in the other equilibrium concentrations. I'm really only interested in this hydronium concentration because this is the one that allows me to calculate my pH. So the negative log of this concentration is 2.02, rounded to three significant digits. So my pH is 2.02. And you'll notice that I have a 0.2 molar solution. So if this were a strong acid, I would just take the negative log of 0.2. But this is a weak acid, so we don't know how much hydronium we have in there. And that's all going to depend on the Ka value of that specific acid. So here is an example where we have the exact same concentration, but a different acid with a different Ka value, HCN. So I'm writing the equilibrium reaction for this HCN in aqueous solution plus water in liquid form is in equilibrium with the hydronium ion in aqueous solution and then CN minus in aqueous solution. The Ka for HCN is 4.9 times 10 to the negative ninth. This is a really low Ka which tells me that this is a really weak acid. It's not going to dissociate very much. My equilibrium constant expression is the hydronium um, ion concentration multiplied by the CN minus concentration over the HCN concentration. I'm going to write my reaction here in this ice table. So the initial concentration of my HCN is 0.2. The initial concentration of my hydronium is about 0, very, very low. In pure water, it's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7th. And then my um, CN minus concentration initially is 0. I will use the coefficients to put my x values in and then find the equilibrium concentrations by taking the initial and the change and making a kind of an equation out of that or a little formula out of that. Now this Ka is very, 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 very small, which is good for us because then we can use um, the, we know that the x is very small, so we can eliminate the x value from that portion and just use the 0.2 for my equilibrium value for my HCN. Because if we're subtracting a very, very small number from 0.2, we're going to get a really, 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 really small number. So it's very insignificant when you subtract. You can only do this when you add and subtract, by the way. You can't do this for multiplying. So I'm going to do the same thing I did in the last example. I'm going to take the 4.9 times 10 to the negative ninth and cross multiply with the 0.2. And that's going to mean that x squared is equal to 9.8 times 10 to the negative tenth. And then x, if I take the square root of both sides, x is equal to 3.13 times 10 to the negative fifth. So this x is, turns out, is the same as my concentration for my hydronium. And that's what I need to calculate the pH. So that's the only concentration I'm interested in is that hydronium concentration. So I get 3.13 times 10 to the negative fifth moles per liter. To find the pH then, I take the negative log of this concentration. So the negative log of my answer from the previous problem. And I get 4.50 rounded to three significant digits. So the pH here is 4.50. And you'll notice that the P, it's not very acidic. Even though this solution was a 0.200 molar solution, it's not a very acidic solution because we're dealing with a weak acid. The Ka is very small. Let's compare this to the previous slide. I had a 0.2 molar solution, and the Ka was 4.6 times 10 to the negative fourth. And that only gave me a pH of 2.02, so very, very acidic compared to this one. The concentration here is the same, but the Ka is so much lower, which means the pH is actually going to be higher because it's less acidic. It's less of an acid. Um, it's more closer to that neutral side. 